How's it going? This is Matt with Old Anvil Speed Shop in Orange. I work in the CNC department and I uh, wanted to show you some of the stuff we've been working on for this 51 GMC. So Jeff borrowed this design from Eric Black for these rims and they turned out incredibly. From there, we made this hub and bearing assembly to take these Corvette hub and bearings and convert it to fit the rims. Then we made a spindle to hold it all and a bracket for these Willwood calipers, then drilled the bolt pattern in the rotor hat. It all goes together and looks really cool. So I'm not 100% sure why we went with the knockoff wheels other than it's really, really cool. but. I know who can tell us, Jeff Allison, the man who designed them. Do you want me to be just like cool like this or do you want a bunch of this kind of shit? That kind of shit. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> How's it going, Jeff? Hey, good, how about you, Matt? Fantastic. So, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about this truck and what we're doing and why we went with knockoffs. Uh, Cause knockoffs are bitching. <laughs> uh, this project started with Delmo quite a few years ago um, we actually saved the wheel design that uh, was designed by Eric Black for, for Delmo. He had, he had kind of originally come up with the idea of doing the knockoffs and kind of this race truck idea. The basic design is uh, Eric. Paul designed all this stuff around those ideas, which is super cool because we'll be able to use this stuff front and back from what I understand. That's engineering. I don't care about the engineering end of it. But yeah, and then we mixed up the, the look so it's going to be very kind of race truck inspired. Um, you don't see a lot of GMCs done any way other than lowriders, so this will be pretty bitching. Yeah, I agree. Okay, thanks for your time, Jeff. All right, man. I got to get back to work. Have a good one. Okay, so from Jeff's rendering of how he wants to see this truck look, Paul takes and designs all these parts in Fusion 360. And then I take all those CAD files and convert them into a language that the CNC can read so that we can produce these parts quickly and uh, efficiently and most important, accurately. So once we make one, we can make as many as we want without any real additional work, except for tooling and setup. So now I'll show you how it all goes together. We machined these nuts all in-house and did the threads perfect to fit on this adapter. So when you spin it, it's all cleared within about two thousandths of an inch. So there's absolutely no play. Then to make the hub, we cut all this on the mill, turned it down, threaded it, drilled these holes, and then pressed these dowels in. Then I put this radius so it, it flows smoother by hand. The press plate has a mating angle to the nut, so that's all self-centering. We machined these steel brackets to hold the Willwood caliper to the spindle, threaded it, bolted it on. Then we machined these spindles out of aluminum to hold the bearing and hub assembly. 
and add the control arms. So on this set, we did all of these with right hand thread. But for the other side of the car, I have to do them identical with left hand thread because that's how knockoffs originally were. And also, you want it to spin the opposite way in the tire. Otherwise, it could come loose. This was all prototype and we wanted to check fitment and, and adjust all of our numbers. Now that it's all adjusted and ready to go, I'm running three more of everything. So we use this wheel center for mock-up and for prototyping, but this is actually just for that. These are going to be the actual wheels that we're going to use to put on the truck. They're already uh, sandblasted and Cerakoted, and they are ready to rock. Once we have three of all these parts made, then we'll install them on here and then right onto the truck. Well, that's all the progress I have moving forward now. So I gotta get back to work so I can make some more parts so I can show you guys more in the future. So I hope you guys all have a good day. See you around.